again, pure positive does not exist in anything in the world, especially dog training. It's impossible. It sounds good, but it cannot be done. Now, positive reinforcement training, which we do all the time. We spend probably three quarters of our day doing positive reinforcement training. So positive, positive reinforcement training, what you do is you re reinforce a dog in a positive way so they duplicate that behavior. What you want, what you want. We do it all the time, all the time. But the statement of there's no such thing as being a pure positive trainer or doing pure positive dog training, you're being lied to. It's impossible. It can't be done. For people that say it can be done, you're, you're right off the bat, you're lying. So anything after that is going to be a lie. So a couple of things that, a couple of things that people um, concentrate on and they concentrate on too much. Number one, on the training equipment. So I use all different training equipment. We use clickers, we use foods, we use um, prong collars, we use remote collars. A lot of people love to focus on the prong collar and the remote collar. So let me just address things. Number one, give what equipment would you like me to use? What equipment would you like me to use? I will use a treat bag, a clicker, and a slip lead. Three things. I assure you, I could punish a dog with those three things. I could praise a dog and punish a dog. Every dog trainer that uses treat bags, clickers, and slip leads are also punishing dogs with their dog training. If they're saying they're not, unfortunately, what they're doing is they're charlatans and they're selling you a bag of lies. Because they are. They are punishing dogs with that equipment. They might think they're not, but that's their opinion. Fact is fact is fact. And this is where people have to stop just throwing out these sound bites because it makes them feel good and it sounds right, but it is a fact. This is factual information that somebody is saying is not true. Let me give somebody a good example. You have a dog on a slip lead. Slip lead is not your tool of choice. How about a martingale collar and a four to six foot leash? Fine, let's do that. Let's do a martingale collar, a four to six foot leash, a clicker, and treats. The highest profile treats you get to decide. So we're neutral on that, right? We're neutral on that. Okay, now, you are punishing a dog with those. And let me explain, if you don't know how you're punishing a dog, then you probably shouldn't be dog training at all because even the most simplest of dog training consists of reward and punishment. Let me give you a good example. You're walking the dog with a martingale collar and a leash. It lunges at another dog. What do you do? Okay, well, I'll tell you what you do. You don't reward it because it didn't do what you wanted it to do. Punishment number one. You hold it back, right? Punishment number two. You pull it back. Punishment number three. You are using punishment to train the dog. That's the fact. Now, you might not think you're doing punishment, but that's fine. But you are. So you can't say you're using pure positive training. Now, I'm not doing this to, to say, ha ha, look at you. I'm not doing this to um, defend any work I do. I'm doing this as a part two to the stop bullying people with your lies about how you practice pure, um, positive reinforcement training, pure positive. It does not exist. Every dog trainer that puts a leash on a dog is punishing a dog. Fact. Every dog trainer that is withholding food from a dog is punishing a dog. Fact. Anybody, all you have to do is read a basic guidebook, training book, on dog training. 
It spells it out for you right there. So stop using the I'm a pure positive dog trainer. No, you are not. So stop bullying people that use punishment because you do as well. You know, a couple of other things um, that people have, you know, always talked about, you know, this modern, not modern. That's a ridiculous thing. I love how people like to say, you know, um, well, they, they use positive reinforcement training in zoos, first of all. <clears throat> <clears throat> no, they don't. Keeping an animal, this is not anti or the support or the non-support of a zoo animal. This has nothing to do with the care and the quality of a zoo animal. This has nothing to do with whether you agree with zoos or not. But keeping an animal in a cage and only feeding that animal when it does a wanted behavior is not positive reinforcement training. It is not. So when you use the thing, well, well, they do it in the zoos. No, they don't do it in the zoos. They don't practice positive reinforcement training. If anything, it's more punitive than positive. But we'll call it balanced, though. So, it sounds good. It sounds good. Oh, yeah, they use positive reinforcement training in zoos and in SeaWorld. No, they don't. It is balanced, and if anything, it sways on the side of punishment more than anything else. So, Stop bullying. This is all about stopping bullying. This is all about when you throw out this, this sound bite and then run away. Nope. 